Hi, and welcome to a Spider Strategies Quick Score training video. In this video, we'll cover auto generating and building up a strategy map in Quick Score. We'll start at the Quick Score homepage, and in the black primary navigation pane on the left, under the presentation category, we'll select strategy maps. Within the strategy maps section, we'll make sure that we're working with the correct organization, which in this case will be our demonstration environment of Mobile World Inc. And we're viewing on the right an existing strategy map that we will recreate through this video. Before getting into a demonstration of how easy it is to create a strategy map like this demo strategy map, let's pause and review the structure and nature of the scorecard upon which this strategy map was created. Over on the left in the primary navigation pane, we'll click Scorecards. Again, verify that we're working with the Mobile World Inc. organization at the top and focus our attention on the Mobile World Balance Scorecard. You'll see that this Mobile World Balance Scorecard has been structured in the classic balance scorecard structure of four perspectives, financial, customer, internal processes, and organizational capacity, each of which have underlying objectives such as increase revenue, improve profitability, and reduce sales overhead. It's these objectives and perspectives which will be pulled into the strategy map we will create for the Mobile World Balance Scorecard. If you want to take advantage of QuickScore's wonderful capability to auto-generate a strategy map for you, it's imperative that your scorecard be structured like this Mobile World Balance Scorecard with perspectives, and underlying objectives, because it's the perspectives and objectives that QuickScore will look for to auto-generate your strategy map. You do not necessarily have to have the exact same perspectives of financial, customer, internal processes, and organizational capacity and underlying objectives, as you see here in the Mobile World Balance Scorecard. But again, the existence of perspectives and objectives is what the auto-generate strategy map capability is looking for. If by chance you were hoping to auto-generate a strategy map for another scorecard, such as within the Mobile World Inc. scorecard structure, we have a financial organization which has its own scorecard called Financial Profit and Loss, which is not structured with perspectives and objectives, but instead with themes such as revenue, cost of sale, and so on with underlying metrics and measures. This scorecard will not successfully auto-generate a strategy map within QuickScore. So let's go ahead and show you how to take advantage of the auto-generate capability for a strategy map in QuickScore. We'll navigate back to the Mobile World Inc. organization and focus on the Mobile World Balance Scorecard that we've reviewed earlier. We'll jump into the Strategy Maps section and click the new strategy map button. Note that you have two choices for a starting layout, automatic and blank. You of course can always create your own strategy maps from scratch with whatever design and structure you, you would desire. But QuickScore now provides you this automatic or auto-generate strategy map capability. We will give this strategy map a name of Mobile World Strategy Map and we'll click Create. You'll see that immediately a strategy map has been constructed for us representing the perspectives and objectives found within the Mobile World Scorecard. I'll click full screen to better view the entirety of the strategy map that has been created and you'll see that we have a financial perspective layer, a customer perspective, and internal processes and organizational capacity layers in the strategy map, each of which house the three objectives for each of those perspective layers. The auto-generate strategy map capability in QuickScore has given us a wonderful starting point for the development of a strategy map for our mobile world organization and scorecard. But before we define the links and the relationships between objectives in this strategy map, I'd like to go back and reflect on the requirement of the underlying scorecard having perspectives and objectives to be able to take advantage of the auto-generate capability. As such, I'll click Save 
in the upper right to save this newly created strategy map. I'll exit full screen. And again, within the strategy maps section of QuickScore, I'll change the organization we work with from Mobile World to that financial organization that we looked at a few minutes ago and the financial organization scorecard called Financial Profit and Loss that lives within the financial organization. With the financial organization open, if I click Strategy Maps and select New Strategy Map, note that the automatic option for a starting layout is not active and available to me. That is simply because the QuickScore software is smart enough to look at the scorecard for the financial organization and realize that there are no perspectives or objectives that it could take advantage of and use to automatically create a strategy map. With that said, let's return to our Mobile World Inc. organization and the newly created strategy map for Mobile World that we just created. I'll put myself back into edit mode so that we can add the cause and effect relationships between the objectives in our various perspective layers. Adding the arrows that indicate the cause and effect relationship between objectives in your strategy map is very easy. Simply click on a bubble within the strategy map, in this case, improve knowledge and skills, and in the upper left, click on the arrow button, and an arrow will automatically be created linking that objective to another objective somewhere within the scorecard or within the strategy map. To adjust where that arrow points, simply drag and drop either end of the arrow wherever you want it to go. Moving on, I'll go over to improve IT effectiveness and add another arrow. And I'll move over to improve contract management and again, add a third arrow. In this case, I'd actually want improved contract management to have a cause and effect relationship with improved market awareness. So I'll drag the pointy end of the arrow up to improve market awareness. You see, of course, it's going straight through the middle of improved clarity of offering. I can adjust how that arrow is presented by using the bubble or dot in the middle of the line or the arrow to adjust how and where that arrow is presented on the strategy map. In addition to where an arrow sits on the strategy map, you also have control over an arrow's darkness, its width, whether it's solid, dashed, or dotted, and of course, at any time, you can delete an arrow from the strategy map. At this point, I'll pause to add additional arrows to the strategy map. After adding all the arrows I desire on this strategy map to reflect the cause and effect relationships between objectives throughout the various perspective layers in this strategy map, we are ready to save the strategy map and exit full screen. Before doing so, I just want to reflect with you that this strategy map is really just a dashboard and as such has the capability for the addition of additional widgets such as images, text, additional objectives, and additional perspectives beyond those that were automatically generated. Also, because it's a dashboard, you certainly have the capability of moving widgets or objects on the screen around wherever you want them to go, resizing them, and so forth, with all the same dashboarding capabilities of a standard QuickScore dashboard. At this point, I'll click Save, exit full screen, and remove myself from edit mode. We have successfully created an auto-generated strategy map for our mobile world balance scorecard. We hope this video on auto-generating and building up a strategy map in QuickScore has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at learn at spiderstrategies.com. Thank you.